We're here with Kristen Pollock with Decorating Den Interiors. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. We're excited to be here. So I absolutely love what you did with this office. Thank you. It is called the Girl Explorer's Office and it's a special space where the little girl of the house grows up and explores uh, different areas and comes back with her treasures and plans her trips in between. And I love the story you're telling us off camera about how you came up with the idea to do this type of a theme. When we do the show house, we often kind of have an idea of the, of the room that you want to do. And when we see the house, it confirms it. So I knew that I wanted to do a home office this year and had an idea to do something with maps and globes and maybe some you know, animal heads. And I thought it would be masculine. But I also toyed with the idea of something kind of girly and blingy and pretty, and I couldn't decide. And I was talking with uh, my, one of my sons, and he said, why don't you do a girl explorer office? And I love the idea, so that's where it came from. And you have a saying over here on, on a little plaque that's saying, go your own way. And I love how that kind of puts everything in this room together. Yes, and, and again, I personally love traveling, and I think you should just explore and, and do what you want. And, and you know, this, this girl in the office, she's very independent and, and uh, goes where she pleases. And I love the wallpaper that you chose as well. Well, thank you. I personally love wallpaper. I put it uh, in a lot of the show houses I do, as well as with clients. People are often afraid of wall covering, but really, it's just very special. It looks so much more special than a lot of painted spaces. So what are some of the other homes that you've done um, in Louisville? Well, we do a lot of homes every year, and we do every room in the house, actually, um, and outdoor spaces, too. So some recently completed homes, one in particular that was very recently completed is a gorgeous master bathroom. And that is um, done very close to here on the east end of, of the city. And we just did some wonderful um, renovations. It was a full renovation, put in a very large shower. That was a request of the clients to have two shower heads and a hand shower. So we just really moved the space around. The shower's where a bathtub used to be. The commode is where the shower used to be. We just kind of flipped it around. But it was a great space and they loved it. And what are some of the other rooms that you've done? Well, another room that is a really a fun space for me is a downtown loft. And this is right down by Slugger Field and it's a two-story loft in a historic building. So really I had a lot of great stuff to work with. We just kind of finished the space and that was for a client who travels extensively as a matter of fact and she just wanted a place to come home to that she felt very much at home. So we just warmed, warmed the space, added a lot of furniture, and worked with some beautiful elements that were part of the, the loft space already. So you do a little bit of everything. Everything. I, we, we do every room in and outside of the home. Um, every day is different, every week is different, and that's what makes it so much fun. And what made you get into design? I have been um, a personal designer all my life, is what, I, uh, is what I like to say, and a professional designer for the last 10, 11 years. Um, I guess I just loved it. It was just something that, that spoke to me. I did other, another career for years and years, and when I was in that career, um, I would find myself in clients' offices and getting ready to present um, research that I had done, actually. And I was very interested in how the lobby was decorated and, and the, the finishing pieces that were chosen and just kind of that whole, whole look. And that's when I knew I probably needed to uh, have a second career. Well, you designed this room beautifully, and you have one other room in the house that I would like to talk about real fast that's connected to this room. Yes, yes. That is called Eden's Garden Room, another very special space. It's actually a cedar closet, and it's a large cedar closet, something like 7 by 20, I think. Um, 
That pays homage to the owner's one-year-old daughter, Eden. Originally, it was thought that we would do an outdoor garden space for her, and then we decided we would do something inside. So uh, I transformed the cedar closet into a little garden party, if you will, a, a little spot that she can go to and have her tea parties and play with butterflies. Well, it's a very beautiful space, and thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. If you're interested in having Kristen do a project for your home, be sure to contact her with the information on your screen. We'll be back with more Your Kentucky at a Home in just a moment.